Okay, we'll have a look at a great circle problem, a typical problem where you're asked to calculate distance, courses and the position of the vertex. And position A is where we're starting off, position B is where we're going to end up. Now if we're going to use the formulas to calculate the courses, then the first value we need to ascertain is the distance, AB. So what we do is get our values for PA, PB and P and we're in the southern hemisphere for both latitudes so they're both subtracted from 90 degrees. We put them into the formula, the normal cosine formula and we find that AB is 61.8 degrees or 3712.6 miles. Reasonably straightforward to get the distance. Before we calculate the courses using the formula. Hopefully you can see that our initial course is going to have to be named southeast. It's obviously going in a southeasterly direction and the final course will be named northeast. Now that's important because regardless of what value you get on your calculator on your calculator, this will be north e uh, southeast and this will be northeast. So as here's a the formula here that we're going to use, the standard formula to find the angle A and we find that it comes out at um, south 69.9 east so the initial course is going to be 110 degrees okay 110 degrees so that, that seems fitting with the uh, with the diagram now let's work out our final course and we do the usual procedure and name it northeast now and we get a final course of 043.7 because both these values PAB and PBA were less than 90 then the vertex must lie between our two positions okay so when you do the calculations if the value PBA and PAB in other words this value here and this value not these values these values that you get for the angle, if they are less than 90, both of them, the vertex must lie between A and B. Um, there is another way to calculate the courses, and that's using the ABC formulas. Um, the initial course would use the initial latitude and change the sign. The final latitude is effective the declination, um, north, south, we're going east to least, so that's named southeast. You see, we get the same answer. The final course, of course, A is the final latitude. Change the sign. And instead of calling it east, initially we call this west, the opposite. So we end up with a southwest. However, we've worked out the azimuth, whereas the course is the opposite from that, becomes northeast. So it's it's 43.7 degrees is the course so it's a northeasterly as we calculated initially so that's another way you can calculate the courses and of course with this way you don't need to subtract your latitudes from 90 and you don't need your initial distance to calculate those values and once we've established um, the situation with the vertex we can now use Napier's rules to work out our latitude of the vertex using the initial course and the initial latitude or PA for the latitude and that gives us our vertex because of course we've used the initial position when we work out our D long we would have to apply that from our initial position and we get the longitude uh, coming through here is 24 degrees 40.5 so we go from 68.18 minus, because it's westerly longitude, and our vertex is going to be 43.37.5. Once you've got those two values, you can always look at your initial positions and relate the position of the vertex to the great circle course. And then you'll be able to see that the values you've obtained are putting the vertex between your courses a and B. So that's that's a way you could just have a quick check to see 
you've done the correct thing. <laughs>